This is going to be a quick demo of how I use the free program DaVinci Resolve to add a voice track to an existing video. So I'll open DaVinci Resolve. Wait for it to load. And I'll click on Untitled Project. I need to add some media, so I'll click on File, Import, Media. I want a short clip. Uh, I pre-selected one, so here it is. It asks me if I want to change the frame rate, and routinely I say yes. Now I need to go back to the media pool, and the file that I selected is there. I will drop it into the timeline, and wherever I drop it is where the media will start. I'm going to move it right to the beginning and let that go. I don't want to see the media pool um, window anymore, so I'll click on it and it disappears. So here I have the basic video and I'll play a part of that. Maybe right. push the button. I did. But... You have pushed the button, okay. Yeah. Okay, what I want to do now is add another voice track. So on uh, audio track one, I right click, click add track, and I'm going to choose stereo. And then to simplify things, I'm going to rename this voiceover. Having done that, now I'm going to go into Fairlight, uh, patch input, output. And these are the pre-selected uh, inputs. You can see that it's my uh, Yeti microphone. For the destination, uh, I need to change it from audio outputs to track input. And that adds my voiceover. I'm now going to select the two audio input sources and the two output sources, then click Patch. I don't need to see this dialog anymore, so I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to go down to the Fairlight tab at the bottom, click on that, and I'll click on uh, record for voiceover and click on the record button here. I'm going to overwrite an existing audio track and then fix that later. I'm recording, recording over an existing track. Okay. Recording, yeah. recording. So over now we're going to drill a hole, recording, a, uh, recording over seven millimeter track. hole through the sense stop. Now I want to go to the beginning, <laughs> and you're going to hear a confusing cacophony of uh, two different soundtracks, one on top of the other. I'm recording, recording, I did, over but you have pushed track, the okay. recording, yeah. recording. So over now we're going to track. drill a hole. Recording, a, uh, recording over seven the What I want to do is go to the end of my voiceover track. I'm going to use the razor. to cut right where it ends. And then 
I'll switch over to the selection arrow. Click on the first part of the first audio track. Click on Inspector. Inspector. Go to Audio. And I'm going to turn down the volume in that first section. The volume in the second section seems fine. So let's play it back and see what we have now. I'm recording, recording over an existing track, recording, recording over an existing track, recording, recording over an existing track. Through the center of this blank so that we can insert and you'll notice that the original audio was uh, turned down considerably so that you could hear my voice over. Um, that's how I've used DaVinci Resolve 18.1 um, for these effects. I hope that you found this to be informative. Thank you for watching.